Um. Fuck. The little rock face I had in mind is not. Right here looks good. Well, no, there's no thermal power. Here's where I had in mind to start. Oh, there's two. Perfect. Perfect. So, and then my idea is that the base continues down here. Okay. Let's get started. Oh, fuck. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Do you have a functioning base? You really only need 500 power at all times and two thermal bits. <laughs> here fast motherfucker <laughs> go that way oh i can still feel the tingling under my skin i have no one to blame but myself i mean it's <laughs> oh you never, ever get used to that. Okay. Uh, we are now very low on power. Let's move you as well. The cool thing about Reapers is you can move them wherever you want. So if someone's giving you trouble, like this fuckface right here, you can kind of guide them with the uh, perimeter defense. Um, even though you can memorize their patterns and manipulate them, it doesn't make them any less scary. Uh, it's like if you had a second degree black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and you were fighting Mike Tyson. You're probably going to win because you know how to wrestle. But it's still Mike Tyson. <laughs> you know? It's... 
All right, right off the bat, we're going to mark where we are. starting point is very important. That'll work. Yeah. Back for more, right? I wanted a little more to the side. Perfect. And the idea is when my base goes the direction I'm facing, um, Fuck you, fart cow. Welcome aboard, Captain. So what I packed will give us... The necessities for... I'm still shaking. Um... That... This... And now, we can see where the hell they are. Get the fuck out of here. Alright. Um, the next step. So I'll usually connect my scanner room I usually go a scanner room and then branching off of that is a multi-purpose room and then off of that I have a extra large multi-purpose room. But for the purposes of spectacle, I'm going to make a larger series of uh, a larger tunnel that'll lead down to the meat and potatoes of the dunes, like the deep dark, we don't want to be here, part of the dunes. Because the whole idea of doing this, because this right here where I am, this is the absolute best place to build a base in Subnautica. You're close to the Gelshroom Caves, you're close to the Blood Canyon, which is very close to the Lost River, and you get reefback leviathans to see. But I'm not a smart person, I want to build in the dunes to be around reapers. So... We're done with the Seamoth for now. We're going to take the prawn suit so we can pack a lot more materials. Welcome aboard, Captain. So let's build our tunnel. For now, the tunnel is going to be made of titanium and reinforcement panels. 
So let's get... Six lithium. Make it seven. Make it ten. Nah, seven's fine. And then the rest titanium. And then two plasteel for our multi-purpose. They're in here. And eventually we're going to turn this tunnel into a glass tube. Oops. Welcome aboard, Captain. But for now... Also, right off the bat... going to relocate our um, medkit fabricators. Lord knows we're going to need them. Let's get six pieces of glass, because I want to see how long the tunnel is from the inside. And then we can worry about the titanium. Looks good. All right, let's do this. Round two. What's a crapple pie? What's it, what are the ingredients? You may be thinking, why am I not using the Cyclops? I hate the Cyclops. Building it alone just lowers the overall frame rate of your game. It gets really choppy because the game has to keep track of it at all times. You can't you think you're saving time because it has infinity lockers and you can have a fabricator in it and it's a mobile base. But going from point A to point B and the time it takes to turn the Cyclops around, I have already found 12 pieces of quartz, 5 rubies, and 7 magnetite. Um... They really got it right with the sea truck and below zero. People have bad things to say about it. I fucking love the sea truck. Because it functions like the Cyclops, but it moves like the sea moth. And you can customize it however you want. If I could use the, uh, whatever. Oh, this is another pro chip. Pro strat. Um, Can't even get my lithium. Uh, the camera drones take up a shit ton of space in your um, menu. I 
just throw them away. Boom. He's up there. Let's just build them here for now. The med fabricators. I would like them in the entrance. In fact, let's just build my entrance. I like the entrance to be made of glass. Any glass I can build, I do. That's the best part of this game is... I forgot how much titanium need for reinforced. Six should be good. That'll give us enough space for a multi-purpose room. Yeah, let's just build our uh, medkit fabs for here for now. Get that space out of the way. So long as we can, like, take medkits. That's what matters. Watch me build it, and the Reaper's gonna be, like, right there. Um... I want two more glass tubes. Sometimes you just gotta live off the land. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's get some quartz going. One, no, we just need one more tube. We didn't already go way out. I can always modify this base. The point of this is uh, showing Rick how I build. So. Um... our first multi-purpose room. And the cool thing about building like this is you don't have those stupid looking legs jutting out the bottom. It's a very clean design. Alright, let's restock. Oh, 
can't Reapers again, obviously. This base will put us close enough to all the really good farming locations. It's actually quite, um, impressive how well, the, like, if you have a sea truck with four different compartments on it, it's still able to fit through a lot of, um, tight spaces. Because I, I honestly think that Below Zero is a better looking game than this. Some of the concepts they have for, uh, biomes are breathtaking. But it is a, um, smaller world. There's not enough, like, huge spaces separating the biomes. It's kind of a, like a Majora's Mask. Uh, it's kind of an addendum to Subnautica 1. It's not like a full-on... I still enjoy it. There's a lot to do and a lot to keep you occupied and plenty of stuff to do and hang out. Like, uh, what I mean is a lot of new species to interact with and stuff. Um, Welcome aboard, Captain. I mean, for what it's worth, I built a fucking void base in Below Zero. That's how much I love it. So, um, okay. We have our two plasteel. And let's get... What do you need for a moon pool? This is mandatory. Uh... So four lead, two pla, 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 two of this thing. So four of this total. Four lead. Two lubricant. And then I have my ingots. They should be in the back of my prawn suit or the multi-purpose room. And let's get the materials for the domes. So six enameled glass. Um, six titanium. And, uh, just lithium. If you're building fancy bases, lithium are just mandatory. And, uh, throw all this shit in the back of the trunk. and then titanium. Let's do... ten pieces of glass and the rest titanium. Hopefully that's enough. You can always come back for more. Alright. Back to work. Welcome aboard, Captain.
do I want for lunch? Probably whip up some eggs. those up. Also, the prawn suit in Below Zero moves a lot faster. I'm actually glad I got a really good Reaper Scare before doing this. <laughs> Docking with the Moon Pool is going to suck. It's going to be miserable. That yeah, fiend can and will grab my pawn, prawn suit. I've seen it go after my suit before going after me. It's actually pretty far away, all things considered. Um, okay. Just for drama, let's do two. This is what I wanted. Be surrounded by pitch darkness. Yeah, look at that. That's a view. That's cool. All right. Um, Here we are. Uh, this leads to moon pool number one. And I believe number two goes to this port. Yeah. Thank God. The last thing you want in a situation like this is to make a mistake and have to physically go outside the base to rebuild it when you have Reapers swimming around. So, um... Got our glass entrance. Got a nice laser beam up there. Uh, our third fed the med fabricator. I'd like a piece of quartz so I can build a temporary big locker. But we're running out of time here. Let's just build a small one for now. What? Oh no. See, that's what I was afraid of.
We also need to move our batteries. Do that next. I like to build the moon pools lengthwise. I can move those reapers wherever I want. They are so angry. What had happened to them? Get that mad. Hopefully we have enough durability for these moon pools. life in my fucking, uh, whatever this is. Yeah, we should. Get some more reinforcement. And we need to move our battery charger. So. Oh shit, I can reinforce now. in my toolbox here. Oh. Uh. Gotta consolidate my items. better on that side. Put some shit away. Let's restock. Keep building. So we're going to connect with more glass tubes and then build our other two. Making pretty good time, actually. Welcome aboard, Captain.
Well, actually, a really important thing to do is build the farm. As a matter of fact... Okay. I need another thermal plant. Let's fill the prawn suit with titanium and glass and then get enough for a thermal plant and my farm. Maybe some lithium. Yeah, that was... It is amazing how well they sneak up on you. It's... How big are Reapers again? Also, thank you for the tier 1 sub. I didn't see that until now. Um... Fifty-five meters, so it's 150 feet long, give or take. Yeah. Ah, oh, <laughs> love it. I gotta peek. No, uh, 55 meters, so they're like 160 feet. Um, all right, what now? Uh, yeah, the farm's really important, actually. Uh, so glass and titanium... Make some more glass. Right, the battery charger. And lithium. Magnetite. A little more lithium. One aerogel. Five titanium. Or 
For now, I'm just going to steal this one. Sample of everything. I want Noah's Ark here. piece of lead. Oh, actually, having a bed is super important. Any fiber mesh? Influencing the passage of time is a very, very pro strat in Subnautica. And, um, any lead at all. All I need is one piece. Swing and a miss. All right, that sucks. Um, Lead shows up in sandstone. Oh, you know what? Might be some giant lead deposits on the way. The Reaper moved. Hmm. This is gonna be the lead. No. Oh. This will be the lead. Hey, how about that? I didn't pack any quartz, did I? Ha! All right, let's reinforce a little more. Well, first off,
This is turning out exactly how I had it in my head. I really like it. Should be at 500. Yep. Let's connect our moon pools. Put a reinforcement panel up real quick. One or two. I like how the music just stops when I'm out here. <laughs> the devs know. This place sucks. Can't do much but die. Um... Oh, our battery thing. Right. up a little here. Or a battery station on the wall. I like it on the wall. For whatever reason. On the uh, tube wall, as it were. see you, dude. And that means... So this... connects to a tower that I use for reinforcement. And I load that thing up with reinforcement panels so that I have the freedom to build glass wherever I want. And ordinarily, my farm is right here. But we have a problem. So let's build our farm right here. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> I do need a piece of quartz. Let's just do it. Um, make a save. Because Rick's got to go soon, so.
He's not that close. Is he? Oh, he's getting closer. He's getting much closer. Why am I doing this without the stasis rifle? So fucking stupid. Yeah. He's on me. So, yeah. You can stay for another half hour? Okay, okay. Then let's move our Seamoth and get some more um, goodies. We play this game because we have OCD, so we have to have symmetrical lockers. Uh, let's get some reinforcement going, though. For real. Uh, yeah. I wonder if you can hear its full volume roar inside. If it's close enough. bed. Ah, uh, can fuck itself. Uh, move these. I should probably build these actually closer to the... moon pools. So I can immediately grab him when I leave to do some dangerous stuff. It's a little asymmetrical, but... There. Now it's kind of like a downward slope. All right. We need quartz for... Oh! 
Oh, hot damn, there's a quartz. Stasis rifle, what are your blueprints? I haven't had to use you in a while, but this is a, uh, definitely a situation for it. Check my DMs while I'm here. What'd you have for lunch, Chaos? Titanium. Oops. Um. I'm out of glass, aren't I? Hell yeah, what are croquettes? I forget. Hot pockets? Okay. I have my fiber mesh, right? I've talked at length about how important beds are in this game. Just how close is this one? Let's find out.
nice aerial view there. It's coming together all right. Not close anymore. Trying to build, you go that way. Thank you. He'll be back. I don't have the floodlight. Really do much. I do want to play with these later on, but yeah. All right, do I still have my lead? No, I do not. The third one. <laughs> Join the party. Um, Perfect. Couldn't be better. And I forgot my lead. Did I? Where the fuck's my lead? I just had it. Unless it was necessary to build the rifle. No. Okay. Get some sandstone, I guess. Far away, it'll be fine. I think I'll move another scanner room. I like my bed to be here. 
Let's get some pictures hung up while we're waiting for the sandstone to scan. I think it's copper wire, which we probably don't have right now. Yeah, one piece of copper wire. All right. Where are the fragments? You have a wreck, you have fragments. That means titanium, right? There we go. Oh shit, I'm so low on oxygen right now. Oh god. Um... Seconds. Thank you. You can open. It's okay. We're not judging you. Oh, no. Uh... Okay, we're good. All right, now that that's out of the way, um, get more titanium here. Four, there we go. And uh, 
after this, I'm going to load up for, like, just some fun stuff. So we got the essentials out of the way. Not even close, no. We're, we're good. I planned that, man. You gotta have good drama. Um... Alright, let's hang up some pictures before Rick leaves, because I got some good ones. Welcome aboard, Captain. Just to kind of cap off the little fun adventure we had. So let's move some electronics. All systems online. I need to eat. I'm going to volleyball tonight. <sighs> hey, way. Yes. I want something that's copiously high in vegetables. fiber, a lot of beta carotene. Calcium. Mm, boy. Yeah. Again, I don't want to go. But once I'm there, I'll have fun. It's less about whether or not it'll be fun and more about leaving what you're currently doing. You know? That's always the hard part. wiring. Some of this shit. Some of that shit. Build our mod station. Oh, fuck. Let's put some house plants in. works. Computer chips. Computer chips. Let me tell you about them. Now we can move those Reapers closer to my base.
Looks like one's pretty close already. this at all, by the way. There he is. Okay. The fact that he wasn't appearing freaked me out. Not good. There we go. Literally the worst house pet in the world. Maybe the baby from Resident Evil Village. This is not working. <sighs> Steal yourself. You can do this. Oh, he just left. It's really hard to judge. distance of your perimeter defense. Picture time. This is too perfect. Yeah. Okay, we have four health. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Got a good picture out of it, though. Easy come, easy go. We can always build another one. memories do we have? Um, Beautiful. All right. Uh, got some nice pictures of uh, the 
sunbeam getting obliterated. <laughs> this is when I built my sea moth. Hello, can I access the other page, please? What? I could have sworn I had a picture. There it is. Of my sea moth being built in the moonlight. So let's set that one. And, uh... Nice close-up of a crab squid snake. Um... There we go. And that is how I build a base. Let's go to sleep and see how our farm is doing. And, uh, down here, I like to have a little tower that, um, has my alien containment unit, but that's just going to take a really, really long time of just constantly farming glass and getting all that. This is just the basic essentials, uh, so yeah. Um, <laughs> education can be so hard. <laughs> Well, I was trying to move the Reaper over here to, but you know what I mean, you know. It ate my sea moth, you know. Welcome aboard, Captain. Put some crap away. And then the main reason, yeah, this will be just wall to wall with lockers filled with everything in the game. Um, so. Thanks, bro. See you when I see ya. I have an idea for a picture. Get a Reaper Leviathan right as it's lunging at me, but it's lit by the creep vine. I'm gonna make it happen. Might not be this week, might not be the next. But it will happen.
Yeah. I gotta end the stream as well so I can eat. <sighs> and, uh... Yeah, see you when I see you. Take care, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. And, uh... Not much else to say.